Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to share my February favorites. I'm a little late, but all the same, here we go. Um, starting with Bath and Body Works, I love Blink Antibacterial Hand Gel. Um, this one, I don't know if it was just for Valentine's Day, but they had a couple that were girly related in February, and they're $1.50 each. But I love the rock candy one because it really does smell like um, rock candy, pixie sticks, um, just it has a really fun smell that's different from the usual florals um, and this one it's weird sometimes when I use this to wash my hands and then you know I have something to eat all I can smell is the antibacterial gel but with this one you know it's a nice smell and it's subtle so it does fade out a little bit so this is my first favorite and what's really cute is it ha says I love bling and has a little diamond ring and dollar signs around it and it's rock candy so that's from Bath and Body Works and these are usually five for five dollars or dollar fifty each so that's my first favorite um, my second favorite for the month of February is the Deborah Lippman nail lacquer in glitter in the air um, Deborah Lippman was inspired to create this color after Pink's performance at the Grammys you know where she was spinning in the water and the the acrobatics is really cool but it's a creamy light blue with um, like baby blue and pink glitters dispersed throughout it I don't know if you can see that right here but um, it does take a few coats to use this color just by itself so what I did was paired it with um, China Glaze Sea Spray Nail Polish which is um, a light silvered blue I use that as a base and then do two coats of glitter in the air on top um, for some reason, I've been hesitant to buy Deborah Lipman's. This is my second color from her because they're $18, but I couldn't figure out why it was like that because I buy Chanel nail polish and they're like 20 plus. So I, I don't know why I have the hesitation, but it's a good quality and it lasts for a long time without chipping. So that is my second favorite. And my third favorite was a bit of a surprise. It is the CoverGirl nature Lux foundation um, this one has a little bit of cucumber water in it which is really good for your skin um, it's good for oily skin I was surprised it lasts all day I mean it really does stay on which was most important and secondly important um, because I do have oily skin my skin didn't get really oily I had some you know that I had to touch up with a blot sheet but um, it's really good it has a nice smell it almost reminds me of the way copper tone sunblock smells um, it's very easy to apply it blends really well the only problem that I can think of with this product is the shade range is a bit limited towards deeper skin tones I just didn't see enough colors so I could use this in my kit it would be really good for probably younger girls who don't have problematic skin you know just to give them a little something to even them out it does that really well but I couldn't use it for everyone because I just don't think the shade range is there. Um, but for me, I did like it. My next favorite is a surprise favorite. It is the Fresh Rose um, Fresh Face Primer. Uh, I bought this in a little kit. It had this and the Twilight um, Illuminator for $10 at Sephora just to try it because primers are pretty expensive. They're really important to your makeup, but they really do cost a bit of money. So I wanted to just try it first. It has a really nice light rose scent, not obnoxious and not like a fake rose. And when I put it on as a primer, you know, after my, um, I put on my moisturizer and then put this primer on and I almost feel like my pores are shrinking. It was the weirdest feeling ever, but I really like that. So that is my next favorite. So my next favorite is this new headband that my friend gave me. <laughs> my friend gave this to me for my birthday. She gave it to me early. Today is actually my birthday. It's March the 2nd. But I went to see Lady Gaga and she thought that this would be perfect for the outfit I was wearing. So um, this headband, it is by a brand called Bandu. B-A-N period D-O. And they make adorable huge flowers like huge Carrie Bradshaw style flowers and they also make little pom-poms for your shoes and just adorable headbands like this 
Um, it is a huge bow. Um, and this, I love this. We both looked at the website at work one day and we were like, oh my God, this stuff is so adorable. Like everything, just whimsical. So B-A-N period D-O is the brand. And this is a headband. I'm actually wearing it out to dinner tonight. Um, I love headbands and this one is a favorite. And um, unfortunately, I cut my hair recently. It needed a good trim. And prior to that, I would have done one of my um, top knot buns and then put this over it and it would just look so girly so that is another favorite for February that I'm wearing into March and my final favorite is a bit expensive it's something I've speaking of Carrie Bradshaw I've wanted for years there's an episode of Sex in the City where Carrie Bradshaw she'd been out in the rain and she had on these knee-high socks and heels and she had on a yellow Burberry jacket and since that moment I've wanted one it's, and that's been what Sex and the City ended in 2003 is that right so it's been a while but I've wanted Burberry jacket and finally got myself together and with gift cards at Christmas time and my own personal money um, I have a Burberry Brit jacket um, I wasn't able to wear it right at Christmas because it is a very lightweight jacket. Um, as you can see, it's quilted. Um, it's, it's a thinner jacket, so it's perfect for that transition into spring where it's not hot, it's not cold, but you need to be covered with something. You know, there's not a lot going on in it. It's not very thick, but it's so chic. Um, you know, the inner liner is the plaid. On the back of the collar, that's plaid as well, if you can see that. Um, and, you know, you can flip the sleeves up if you just want to kind of like show off the print a little bit. Or you can just flip them down, either or it's fine. Um, and it has snap buttons. And the weird thing to get used to was that the pockets, instead of having an angle, they go straight across. So I always forget and I try to put my hands in my pockets and look stupid, whatever. So this was my final favorite. Um, it's very light. I mean, for the cost of it, I could have bought a couple of jackets, but I really wanted that one for years. And it's, it's one of my new favorite things to throw on. It looks great with jeans and maybe a pair of ballet flats or, um, you know, just anything real. I just throw it on and I'm ready to go. And... That is my final favorite for the month of February. Um, so yeah, um, have a good day. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.